Korea, too. There's been rain and the rivers are swollen, but a GI keeps dry by riding across on a tank. When these pictures were taken, UN forces were heading north across the 38th parallel. Not many hours later, the Reds launched their long-awaited spring offensive. They'd been building up to it for many months, and we'd been jabbing at them continually, keeping them off balance, shelling, probing, shelling again, stalling the Kami counter blows longer than anyone anticipated. But it finally came. Nothing could stop it forever. The bugles blew at night. The screaming ranks of attackers came in human waves, regardless of losses. The 8th Army, now under General Van Fleet, rolled with the punch, gave ground slowly, pulling back to prepared defensive positions, trading real estate for lives. Spring is a bloody time in Korea, but the spirit of spring is unbowed in the hearts of these South Korean war waifs. They line up in one of the most heartwarming fashion shows of this uncertain spring season. It's clothes they're getting, nothing stylish, just clothes. No labels, no price tags. The clothes were collected by the Marine Corps League in many American cities. And don't they go over with these Korean youngsters? With help from friendly American Marines, a new dress goes over just fine. The war is a long way from their minds for a while. <laughs> 